Okay, so today we're gonna be making a little how-to video of uh, how I how I decant my my Tamiya paint here. Now, this is some uh, TS85 uh, bright mica red, and uh, yeah, this is a little how-to video how I, how I do it. So uh, what you gotta do here is you gotta get your your jar here. This is just a, a little Mr. Hobby. Is this a, yeah, it's a Mr. Hobby <clears throat> 30 mil jar. Mm, probably put about, yeah, 35, 40 mils of, of paint in there. Thinned out, obviously. So, what you're going to need to decant this so you can airbrush it is your can of tomato paint, your jar, with some tape on the top. There's just some 40 mil tomato masking tape. And you gotta cut a little, a little cross on the top here, a little T, big enough. Just put your straw in. Now it doesn't have to f fit super tight. You just want it to to cover the top of the jar and to be able to put your straw in so paint doesn't fly out. Okay, and then the next thing you gotta do. Now what I did, or at least what I did anyway, is I took some. Some ticky tack here, some fun tack, whatever you want to call it, some Mac tack, whatever the hell. Call it ticky tack here. You take that and you make a little O-ring here, a little bung here, a little bung ring. A little, whatever you want to call that. <laughs> a little bung hole ring. And uh, you fit that around the straw, just like so. And the reason you fit that around the straw here, let me fix this here, is so you can put it right on the, oh, sorry, end of the can just like that and then you gotta push it on tight no, I won't do that now I'll do it after but I'll show you after so you see I've got to squeeze around the straw a little bit the straw is a little big for the for the can it doesn't matter you just just make the bung ring with the with the ticky tack and you're good to go and the reason the other thing you need a bendy straw if it's not a bendy straw it won't work so good um, the reason being you want a bendy straw so the paint can fly out and hit something and then be able to drain down into the jar. If you don't, if you don't have a bendy straw and you try to use a regular straw, what's going to happen is it's going to bend, it's going to kink and the paint's just going to fly back into the top of the can right here and it's going to fly out all, all over the place. So that, that's no good. Nobody wants that, right? So give me a second here and I'll be back and... We're gonna be decanting this paint. Okay, so I hope you can hear me. Put the little fan turned on here because the uh, fumes come off. But one thing I wanted to say is wear gloves. Always. This stuff's toxic, it's not good for you. And uh, wear a respirator too. I'm not wearing my respirator right Yeah, <laughs> Use your words like a big boy. I'm not wearing my respirator right now because uh, obviously um, I want to be able to talk to you guys. So here, make what, make sure you push the ticky tack o-ring bung thingy on to the can properly so it doesn't leak. It, it, it might it might leak a little bit, but hey. And uh, there we go. Stick the can in there. Make sure you shake the heck out of the can always. I've already been shaking this for probably a good five minutes so far already. Um, especially being a metallic color, I want it to be well shaken up. You can see my... It's on there good enough that it doesn't fall off when I'm shaking it, so that's a good thing. Okay, so, here we go. I think you guys can see that coming out of there. And that is working absolutely perfect. Working perfectly. So I'm going to drain quite a bit of this out here. I might stop a little bit halfway and shake it up a bit more. We'll see how it goes. And uh, I should probably keep my hand on that just because. I don't want it to come flying off, but oh, it seems to be on there pretty good. And it's going to get cold. That's normal. Um, obviously, um, 
I forget what it is. Is it sublimation or something like that? Or gas going to a liquid or liquid going to gas or some, something like that? Sorry. <coughs> So we'll keep filling this up a bit. We've got quite a bit in there. It will go down as we let it sit over time. This is really coming really quickly. Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna see how much we get here. We got quite a bit out of there. Not, like I said, it's gonna go down after we let it sit for, I think I'm gonna let it sit probably overnight. You gotta let it off gas. Uh, let the propellant come out of the paint. It's gonna bubble. Do not, absolutely do not put a tight lid on this for the next, oh, at least I'd say a good 12 hours. Um, if you can, let it sit overnight. I'm doing this at, uh, I think it's, what, it's, yeah, it's about seven o'clock at night here, so I'm gonna let this sit overnight. Um, don't put the cap on it tightly. Do not, it will explode on you. Um, maybe not in a glass jar, but Still, I wouldn't take the chance, and uh, don't do this in a plastic bottle. Um, and if you do do it in a plastic bottle and you put the lid on tight, you're gonna find out uh, it's not fun. So yeah, don't do that. Now, hmm, am I gonna am I gonna take a little bit more of this out? I I think I might. I'm gonna give this another little shake here. And look at that. Everything stayed inside of our little o-ring here. Absolutely perfect. No fuss, no muss. Get rid of that. Whoops. Speak too soon here. And there you go. Um, I'd say this is about, I don't know, two-thirds empty. Ah! Yeah, about, about two thirds empty. There's still, there's still quite a bit, quite a bit of paint left in there. But uh, yeah, we'll let this off gas out. And this is super cold now. Yeah, yeah this is you're gonna see condensation form. And I don't know if you can see the bubbles in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you see the bubbles? Yeah, you can see the bubbles in there. Obviously, being a metallic paint as well, it's gonna be sparkly. But uh, it's off gassing away in there. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that or not. Oh, I'm sorry. But that's, uh, I can definitely show you it's bubbling away in there. So like I said, don't put a lid on this. I'm just gonna leave this like this for a good hour or two at least. Um, I might just leave this, well, well, actually I take back what I said. Uh, I'm gonna leave this like this for a good, good six, seven hours probably. Um, you can always just stick the lid on it, just like that. Sorry. Just don't, make sure it's not sealed. Just, just, you can just leave the lid on it like that, not tight. You can, you can take the tape off and just leave the lid lightly on it. That's probably what I'll do in a little while. I'll take the tape off and just lightly leave the lid on it like that so we can off gas. And you might even see the lid bubbling away. You never know. So yeah, um, I'm gonna be thinning this. Oops. Where's my thinner? Sorry. I'm gonna be thinning this uh, 20 about about 20 percent, um, Mr. Uh, Mr. Hobby. Jeez. Sorry. With a Tamiya lacquer thinner with retarder, and uh, yeah, it'll be good to go to uh, put in the airbrush and spray away. So yeah, thanks for watching.